If you didn't know, this year 2024 marked Alfa Romeo's 50th anniversary of their Alfa Romeo Letter GT series and their 70th anniversary of the Alfa Romeo Giulietta series of cars. <laughs> weekend down to Franschuk was not only to see some of the spectacular cars that were on show, it was my first time down to the Franschuk Motor Museum um, and I must say I was I was actually quite blown away by the array of cars that's on display there. I mean some of the first cars from some of the first cars that were ever made to you know some spectacular um, pieces of history and some supercars and some really cool bikes as well. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed you know just walking around, seeing what's on show there, etc. Um, you know, it was, it was quite the experience. But the main reason we took the trip down there was because I recently expanded the Gasta brand into three entities. One of them being Gasta Productions. So as you guys would have seen, or if you've been following the channel, you'll see the Gassed Up name pop up quite a few times. I think through like 80 to 90 percent of my videos, you'll see the brand Gassed Up, and obviously that's the clothing brand that I've started. And what I'm trying to do now, what I've done now, is I'm expanding the brand into three different entities. One of them being Gassed Up Productions. And yeah, I mean I've spent years, you know. Um, in the media production industry, I've shot for clothing brands, jewelry brands, um, all the way down to my most recent um, real estate uh, properties, etc. And yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm looking to consolidate all my companies into one brand and yeah, grow that brand. So it's quite a big step, um, but I do feel it's the step in the right direction because number one, um, I'm looking to get into a new market, into a new niche, and it's a niche that obviously I'm passionate about, and it's all about you know, extreme sports, motor sports, um, adventure sports, and all that. So all the kind of brands, etc., that uh, fall part of that niche, it's what I'm looking to, looking to get into as part of the Gas Up brand. Um, and yeah, it's everything that the Gas Up brand is about. So it's quite a big step now because what I'm in the process of doing is obviously getting into a new niche coming from real estate and obviously shooting for brands and all that um, I'm now specifically looking to get into the action sports adventure sports and motorsports industry and that means you know it's time to get out there and find new clients I mean I've been spending time uh, you know going through to meet clients and also doing a lot of cold calling etc which uh, is not always the best and most exciting thing to do but it's what you need to do especially when you're getting into a new industry but yeah the reason I'm making such a switch and such a jump is because obviously I've always been passionate about the gas Up brand and what it stands for and what it represents which is action sports and you know um, getting out there in our slogan play more yeah it's all about getting out there playing more you know getting involved in action sports and you know the exhilarating kind of things that I enjoy like you know downhill cycling surfing super bikes and enduro riding etc all those kind of things that's blood pumping that's what I want everything that I do to revolve around so from my YouTube to my media production to my clothing brand I thought why not just involve everything around that so yeah, so I've developed Gasta Productions now, which is one of the three entities. The first one obviously being Gasta, which is the clothing brand. Second, Gasta Productions. Through Gasta Productions now we're looking to basically explore what it means to play more, you know, through working with all these other kind of action sports and adventure and motorsports brands. Now to bring it to the exciting and slightly daunting kind of news um, that this video is all about, Obviously, I have these big dreams and aspirations and goals of establishing and growing both a YouTube channel and a brand and company. And 
especially when it comes to YouTube. In order to grow on YouTube, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of consistency. <laughs> and I mean, I started this this uh, this YouTube channel back in June 1st, 2023. That's over a year ago now. And I think up until this point, yeah, I've produced definitely less than 20 videos. I think maybe 10 or 12 videos. I'm not too sure up until this point. But I definitely haven't been able to achieve consistency in producing videos on a weekly basis. I really want to push now to properly grow on this platform on, on YouTube and I really want to push and grow the company. What I didn't realize before getting into YouTube is just how much how much bloody work it is because obviously it was a huge learning curve to you know start shooting, shooting from the camera, talking to the camera etc and then to learn, not to learn how to edit but just learning how to say the flow of shooting and then editing yourself etc that kind of thing kind of finding my feet and establishing the brand and all that it's a lot of work and to juggle this which obviously isn't making any money at the moment but to juggle this with my main priority which is the media production which feeds me and the family and the house etc it's been difficult to juggle youtube and the media production company and my hopes now is that in consolidating everything and putting it under kind of one scope it should make things a bit easier but I'm also going to push myself yeah, to, to kind of produce more and find some consistency on YouTube especially. So yeah, with that being said, obviously in between the media production for Gaston Productions I need to kind of find the time to, to produce for YouTube and what I did before, like I would shoot a video, it would take me like a week and a half to edit and then post it and then it would take me another two weeks to find the time to shoot and then to find the time to edit and like my posting on YouTube has been very sporadic so what I've done is I've put together like a really structured um, or should I say I've put together um, the production schedule and the release schedule that I'm really going to try my best to stick to so obviously with the new schedule in place etc the goal now and the plan now is to bring you two YouTube videos a week <laughs> so that's all that sounds crazy it sounds crazy to me too from Putting out one to two videos a month, I'm gonna now be pushing myself to be putting out uh, two videos a week. But in order to do that, um, the kind of content is gonna have to change slightly. So what I'm gonna try to do now is to, every Tuesday, uh, you can expect a kind of vlog style, informational style video, which for me will be easier to put together, easier to put, you know, to, to edit. Hopefully I can shoot and edit these kind of videos within one day to two days max. So. Every Tuesday, you can expect a kind of video like this, um, informational kind of style, etc. Where I'll be, whether it's reviewing a bike, um, or you know, talking about some how tos, or reviewing some tech, etc. Yeah, it'll be more, you know, kind of how do I say, uh, relaxed and easygoing kind of content like this. And then every Thursday is where the more exciting kind of content will come again. So like the front shoot ride that I posted, I think last week. Um, that me and Roland went through to, uh, to Franschuk and I took the Suzuki 750 out and um, yeah, every Thursday you can expect some more kind of action packed stuff where whether I'm going out surfing or you know going out for a ride that kind of thing the kind of fun exhilarating getting out there doing the gassed up kind of stuff um, I'll be doing that every kind of every Thursday so that's what you can expect from now on on this channel and then to put even more on my plate if I haven't put enough on my plate already as it is to foreshadow a little bit um, yeah what you guys can also expect not right now but in the near to distant future maybe this month or next month is a second YouTube channel it's going to be centered all around gassed up and yeah I'm going to be naming it gassed up TV yeah basically what I want to bring to the table is what guys like Sea Voice TV and Seekers are able to do out in America. We don't really have something like that in South Africa where we have a group of guys who's able to go out there and you know just go ball to the wall and do something exciting like you know going drifting or you know sending it um, on the dirt bikes or whatnot. And those are things that I have access to, and there's people that I know that have access to those things, and it's something that I'm passionate about. And yeah, I'd really want to put together a nice group of guys um, that uh, yeah we can build up Gassed Up TV and really establish what Gassed Up is all about. Okay, so in the near distant future, the plan is to every Friday put out a Gassed Up TV video as well. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming in the next month or so. Got to get a few things put together for that. 
But yeah, so that's kind of the slight life update of what's happening now. So what you guys can expect obviously from now, two videos from my personal Antonio Faltzman YouTube channel in the near future. Gas up TV, one video a week as well from there. And then obviously I'm gonna be bringing you guys along and showing you kind of the ins and outs of growing gas up productions and growing the gas up brand as a whole. So this channel is gonna basically become an inside look into what it takes to grow, you know, the gas up brand and grow a company. Okay, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and yo, follow me along for this journey week after week and watch as I grow this YouTube channel and yeah, watch as I grow the Gas Love brand. Okay, cool. So subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. Cool. What am I dripping? What am I dripping? I got the cash that get up. I got the niggas they keep backing up. I told this nigga Matt. What? 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 I told this nigga Matt I really rap. Most of these niggas out there really trash. I told this nigga Matt I really rap. Most of these niggas out there really trash. I told this nigga Matt I really rap. Most of these niggas out there really trash. I told this nigga Matt I really rap. Most of these niggas out there really trash. I told this nigga Matt I really rap. Most of these niggas out there really trash.